Hello everybody, I'm uh, here, I've just had lunch with my good friend Christian Dave and we're currently on the boot bench above Hare Valley and uh, we're enjoying this uh, semi-glorious midsummer's day summer weather. It's a little bit overcast at the moment and uh, we've just discovered that uh, this used to be a, a mine, didn't it, back in seven, a lead mine back in 1759. Yeah. And uh, it was closed down in 1890, wasn't it? Because they, they were importing cheaper lead elsewhere at this point in, in history. That's right, yeah. So, yeah, and he's, he's just been giving me uh, an education in ornithology. He knows quite a, a little bit about birds, don't you? He's yeah. A, he's, a, oh, yeah. he's quite uh, a talented twitcher. Shall we say? And uh, can you identify any of, of, of this bird song that you can hear at the moment, Dave? Uh, oh, is that um, oyster catcher? Yeah. Oyster catcher, like a sharp. Yeah. <coughs> and can you explain how it got its name? Because you said it's a bit of a misnomer, an oyster catcher, didn't you? Yeah. Because they don't actually catch oysters, but they do catch shellfish. Yeah. Apparently. Yeah. By the beach. And it got its name because it was assumed that they were taking oysters when they weren't, right? Yeah, they're also called uh, shell ducks. Shell ducks, yes. Yeah. How, how, so how did they get the name shell? Is that the, the same reason? Yeah, because on the shore, the, uh, the shell. The shells, yeah, that yeah. makes sense. And the, did you mention lapwings earlier? You heard you heard the, their calls? Yeah, lapwings, yeah. yeah. And how did they get their name again? You said there's an interesting story behind that, didn't you? Yeah, they're sort of, uh, if you come near them and have young, they're sort of... Uh, like fake uh, broken uh, wing. That's right. They sort of drag them, yeah. the wing. That And that's to take the attention away yeah, from, from the, from the chicks. Yeah. There's a heron there, look. Yeah. It's gone yeah. Do you see it there? Yeah. Everybody? Yeah, big wings, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Large wings. I think it's got four foot, four foot wingspan or something yeah. like that. <clears throat> yeah, and we're just, uh, it's getting a bit breezy, isn't it? But we've just been in, enjoying lunch, as we said. Yeah. And the breeze is getting up. It's nice though for walking. This yeah, way. and this is, this is a very nice walking route. This actually, yeah. we haven't encountered any. Well, we encountered one person on the way up, didn't we? He yeah, had a, a brindle bander snatch with him, and he was telling us something of the local history on on Bottle Chapel, wasn't he, in Frostily? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I think that goes back to what the 15th, 14th century. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and there was monks living there. Oh yeah. And it's now in ruins. And he said there's been archaeological sort of expeditions, didn't he? Yeah. In recent years, and they've done. Um, you remember at, uh, at um, Auckland Castle last time? Last oh, yeah, they're when we were the there. Yeah. Aren't they? That's oh, right, yeah. Yeah. And are they still doing the digs there? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they do the same thing at uh, St. Bottles Chapel about five years ago. Did they? Yeah. they were doing, uh, oh, I'm trying to think the name of the things they do. There's a, there's a special term for it. What? When they, when they, 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 scan, oh, they, they scan the ground, I can't yeah. remember the name Ooh, yeah. for it. It's interesting. The, the big dig, as we call it. No, yeah, the yeah. Big, big. Call it that, but there's, there's a yeah. something. Oh, I wish I could remember its name. Yeah. It's frustrating. Never mind. It'll probably come to me later. That was an interesting thing I see in the news. The, the, you know, the, doing that channel tunnel, uh, the um, HS2 uh, line. All right, where well, so is the that home. is that actually passing close to the northeast, or is it something else that you? No, it's down south somewhere. But, um, All right, so what have they found? They found this uh, like uh, Anglo-Saxon site, I think. Oh, right. they found uh, like a, this bloke had had a spire through his uh, spine. The, wow. the metal spike was still stuck in his spine. Was it a battle site then? Yeah, like, well, I don't know. Like, yeah, like a, a burial. Oh, was site. it a burial mound or something? Burial like site, that? yeah. Oh. And this, this, this iron spike was still stuck in his spine. Could have been a javelin. Might yeah. have been Roman. Must have the force that uh, somebody fling, flung that uh, yeah. javelin at him. A lot of power. Stick through, stick through his spine. Yeah, well, man. I think it might be Maiden Castle in Dorset. Is, is that the one you're thinking of? No, I, it's, it's on the route of the new railway. Oh, and so where's that again? Between uh, London and Birmingham. Isn't it? Oh, that, now that could be Boot Bordesia. Manketa, yeah. yeah, because yeah. apparently that's that's where the Romans fought the last battle with her. So yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the actual battle site, and that's yeah, that's maybe, one of yeah. one of the casualties. Yeah, if he yeah. had a javelin through him, because yeah. the, the Romans had bolt throws that could go right through people. Is it? Oh yeah, they, they were like similar to catapults. All oh, right, <clears throat> but the, the imagine like um like a giant crossbow, oh, Ballist, yeah. ballistas they were called. Ballistas, yeah. 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 
So it could be something like that. They could go through two people at a time, then. Yeah. They were big yeah, enough, yeah. So thanks for that bit of information. Yeah. Sounds amazing, actually, you know. The family skeleton with a yeah. spike through his spine. Yeah. And on that note, I think I'll end it here because... Uh, I thought you would have heard of that. I've heard about no, that. I haven't. Anyway, <clears throat> I'll end it here and I hope uh, whoever's watching uh, likes and possibly subscribes. Thank you very much, viewers. Take care for now. Uh, blessed be and merry part, everybody. <laughs>